welcome back to another episode of Tic Tac Tot Story Time with me, Steffi. Thank you for joining with me today, and I hope you are doing well wherever you are. My reading friends, in today's book, we will follow a girl named Marion whose wishes is coming true. Let us follow her and her dinosaur's friend adventure as we read The Girl and the Dinosaur. Please enjoy the story. The Girl and the Dinosaur Belief in the Impossible by Holly Huge and Sarah Massini There's a town beside the sea, not so very far from here, with golden sands and rock pools, and a tattered, battered pier. And there's a girl upon the beach. Her name is Marianne. She's digging for a dinosaur just beneath the sand. Now, the fisher folk all worry for the girl beside the sea. She needs to find some friends, they say, and let those old bones be. Still, Marianne is patient, and Marianne is clever. And stony bone by stony bone. A beastie come together. I think I'll name you Bonnie whispers little Marianne. And now that we are friends, I'll be the best one I can. But the sleepy sun is setting, and Marianne must go. Sleep tight, she says to Bunny. I'll be back before you know. And when she climbs into her bed and pulls the covers tight, she offers up a special wish into the starry night. With all my heart, I make a wish and dream it will come true. For stony bones to come to life and find me when they do. The wishing stars burn bright that night. The air is thick with dreams and a deeply sleeping dinosaur is waking up, it seems. Then a tap tap at the window, and Marianne's awake. Her wishes have come true, and there are memories to make. A bending neck is offered for a girl to slide right down. And magic is now promised in the sleepy, starlit town. <laughs> Happily together, the friends go to the sea to bob with boats and fishes, their spirits wild and free. Then on to new adventures up a winding path of trees and they're flashing through a forest like leaves upon the breeze. Fairies float beside them on their way to who knows what, past unicorns and giants and creatures long forgot. Up they climb, still higher, hearts beating, boom boom fast till they reach a mountain summit and stop for a breath at last. And as the clouds all part, they spy a land up in the sky, a magical moonlit island where night and daydreams fly. With a mighty leap of faith, our brave dinosaur takes flight. And then the pair are soaring through the dreamscape of the night, swooping, gliding, flying, to the land up in the air. And oh, 
What fun and magic awaits the two friends there? A party place for children and the creatures from their dreams. Where anything is possible and nothing as it seems. But Slumber's pool is beckoning the children back to town. It's time to leave the island and begin the journey down. Back to the town beside the sea, and back to empty beds, and back to secret memories to keep from grown up heads. And when Marion snuggles down and pulls her covers tight, she slipped into a dream filled sleep of magic in the night. So, there's a town beside the sea, not very far from here, with golden sands and rock pools and a tattered, battered pier. And there are children on the beach with little Marianne, each digging for their dinosaur just beneath the sand. The fisher folk are happy now, and everything is well. And as for magic in the night, the children will not tell. And that is the end of the story. The girl used her imagination and wishes to create her own adventure. My reading friends, from this book, we can learn that if you wish with your full heart, it might come true. If you like this kind of story, please give a thumbs up. Also subscribe to our channel to hear other special stories from me. See you in the other story.